Have you ever wondered what GTA protagonists are going to look like when they are just old dudes and just old men? Well, for the most part, that's a stretched out thought and something you probably will never see from Rockstar Games. But there is one instance that we can actually check out and it's within GTA 5 and it involves Franklin Clinton. Yeah, the guy we play as. And not only can we see what he looks like as a kid, but we can also see 60 years into the future with a very cool secret website within GTA 5 and what Franklin is going to look like as an 85-year-old man. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please, I'm begging you, give it a thumbs up. It takes 0.1 seconds. You could have already done it by now. Uh, if we could set a like goal of 1,500 likes on the video, that would be amazing. As of late, we've been struggling to even get 1,000 likes, which is crazy because last month... And the months before, we were getting 2,000 likes a video easy. But because YouTube is not sending videos to sub boxes, not everybody's seeing them. Views are down, likes are down. So if you guys enjoy the content and want to keep seeing more of it on the channel, give it a thumbs up. And with that said, well, here we are with Franklin, not only as a kid, but also an old man in GTA 5. <laughs> So Franklin, out of every GTA protagonist we've ever had, has some pretty cool history and backstory that we can pick up on and just see in-game from his very own safe house. And it's actually family pictures scattered around. So these can be found in his safe house in Vinewood Hills, as well as his old safe house, or just his Aunt Denise's house that we started out the game living in. So... With these pictures scattered around the house, we can see Aunt Denise. We can also see, presumably, uh, who I'd like to think is Franklin's grandma and grandpa. We could see his cousin Tavell. We know who this is from his Life Invader page. Uh, we can see what looks to be a teenage Franklin and a younger girl who could either be a girlfriend. Uh, Tanisha, I want to say that was his ex-girlfriend. Uh, it could be a cousin. I don't think Franklin has a sister. So uh, we could also take a look at a super young Franklin, like literally as a little kid. And in this picture, I would like to guess that Franklin is probably between, between 10 to 12 years old. I don't think he'd be any older than that. So for the sake of this video, I'm just going to say Franklin is 12 years old. In this picture, um, I'm just aiming high with it. So it's just really cool that we get to check out Franklin's kind of past life, or not past life, but his past history with these older pictures within his houses, which is something we really don't see too much of in the GTA series. Now you're probably thinking, okay, well, we've seen Franklin as a kid, but how do we get to see him as an old man? Well, if we actually pull out our mobile phone, we can go to a website by the name of Children of the Mountain. It's basically this cult website that allows us to see into the future a little bit. So it's a little bit fabricated, but even though it's all in Franklin's head, we get an idea of what he's going to look like as a very old man. And actually right now, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to this website and I'm going to walk you guys through it and we're going to check it out and see what it has to offer. What up, Rihanna? How are you doing, girl? I'm just going to get on my phone, so don't mind me. So what you want to do is go to Children of the Mountain. You can just type that in, and it should come up. So Children of the Mountain is like this cult in the game. So Michael has the Epsilon program that he can join. Franklin has the Children of the Mountain cult. And I'm not really sure about Trevor. I don't think he has one, but the website says... Children of the Mountain is a world leader in self-awareness training with more than 1,000 virtual offices in 25 countries and corporate headquarters in the Cayman Islands. So let's check it out. Let's see what it has to offer. We've got a pretty cool website here. We've got Bill Anthony. He's an actor and acting guru. So it's pretty much saying this guy's an actor and the whole website's fake. Like that's the first thing that catches my eye. But there's different things that we can do. So we are not a cult or a religion. That's definitely not true because it definitely is a cult and a religion. I haven't looked this up in a very long time. But I do remember for some reason that the entry code is futility. And we should be able to get into the website suite. So here we are. We're on stage two. It's basically asking for our card number, our bank information, and we we, we have to pay $200 to join this non-religion, non-cult. So Franklin's got an interesting email, frankie at ifind.info, and there's the last four of his credit card number, and it expires 
on uh, April 2016. So his card's a little bit expired now because it's 2018. But uh, we just paid the 200 bucks, and it looks like we have to do a puzzle. So click the letters below in the correct order to reveal insightful words. There's 11 puzzles. Oh, man. Close your eyes. I said close them. Now, I want you to picture how you perceive yourself as a child soiling himself. Good. Process that image. Put it somewhere safe. Now, I want you to picture yourself in 60 years' time. You're soiling yourself again. It's a metaphor for life. You need to pick up your excrement and fling it away. Meaning, grab your crap and throw it away. So let's picture ourselves in 60 years' time or just soiling ourselves. Okay, I just crapped my pants. This does not feel good and I'm mad. So this is a picture of Franklin from inside his house, which we've already talked about. And I want to say he's probably 12 years old at the time. So if we imagine ourselves in 60 years' time, um, what's he going to be like, 70? I, I don't know. But that's that's Franklin as a kid right here. That's cool, and he's just in the middle of this field. It looks like it's out in, like, Chumash somewhere. So now we have imagined ourselves in 60 years' time, and we're picking our poop up and flinging it everywhere, and now imagine everyone you love is trying to kill you. They're closing in. You're trying to escape, but there's nowhere to run. A little girl with a hatchet is singing songs. Well, that's creepy. A college couple are making out in a car on a secluded road. Uh, now imagine that fear is color. What color is it? I, I see fear is yellow. Fear is yellow. Um, if you said black or white, you are a racist. You're not a racist, Simeon. So here's Franklin as an old man. Look at that. This is literally what Franklin would be like when he's like 85 years old. I've got a timeline we're going to break down in a few moments. But uh, Franklin is an old man here. And that is crazy seeing him look like this. Out of all the characters that we have, the, the trio for uh, GTA 5, would you have imagined Franklin living the longest? Um, I... I think I would. I, I could definitely see Michael dying in his 60s and Trevor probably dying around that time too. Or Trevor would be the one to live to be 130 years old somehow. But there's Franklin as an old man. Okay, that website was great. Imagine if we could do that not only for Michael and Trevor, but also like Nico Bellic, Tommy Versetti, and CJ. Like, that would be so awesome if Rockstar would, would add just some sort of Easter egg into uh, GTA 5 or their next game, like with a new website, uh, and like seeing what these characters would look like. You know, there's these websites in real life, like old people generators. You put a picture of you, and it's going to generate what it thinks you're going to look like as an old person. But nonetheless... Let's break out a timeline of events of Franklin's life to just kind of put things in a perspective if you're kind of a visual learner. So, Franklin was born in 1988. Now, while this is not 100% confirmed, we do have strong evidence just kind of supporting this, and it can actually be found on Franklin's Buffalo. It's his personalized license plate. It says FC 1988. FC means Franklin Clinton. 1988 is most likely the year he was born. Which means in 2013, not only when GTA 5 released, but when it takes place, Franklin would be 25 years old. And according to Children of the Mountain, if we close our eyes and imagine ourselves in 60 years' time, well, that would actually fast forward from 2013 and Franklin being 25 years old to the year 2073, which is crazy, and Franklin being 85 years old. So this picture right here of Franklin being an old man... Well, he's 85 years old, and it's in the year 2073, which is just insanely awesome. So, that leaves me a question to ask you guys. Out of pretty much the GTA 5 trio, who do you think would have been the oldest and to live the longest? I personally would have just went with Franklin. I figure Michael would probably die in his 60s, uh, and maybe early 70s. That's about the average life expectancy for a man. And Trevor, I don't know. Trevor's one of those guys who could either just die at any moment, or he would be the guy to live to be 120 years old. So uh, be sure to let me know down below in the comments which protagonist do you guys think would uh, have lived the longest. Or do you think Michael and Trevor would still be alive alongside Franklin at 85 years old? Even though we got to remember that Michael and Trevor is something I almost forgot are about 20 years older than uh, Franklin. So, so don't forget that right there. But nonetheless, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. 
and found it interesting to see not only what Franklin looks like as a kid, but also an old man. If you did enjoy, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If we could break just that 1500 like gold, that would be awesome. It's been kind of demotivating as of late. Uh, just with YouTube not sending videos out to sub boxes, you work hard on videos and they just do horrible because nobody is getting notified about them. So also be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications while we're on the topic of that. That way you don't miss out on any future uploads. And with that said, my name is Zach Cox. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I will see you all in the next video.